Welcome back to the crack. Herper to Parker, Herper And we're talking like this the entire rest of the night. That's it. <laughs> How many aristocrats do you have come over to your home and you're just confused? <laughs> With the new aristocrat translator from Critical Mist Technology. <laughs> uh, so you can make me sound like this. Oh, I think. Oh. Oh. All you have to do is gain you know, the roll after the one eight thousand pounds. <laughs> you could not be more. You got an eighteen. Eighteen, yes. Uh, oh, and hold on. No. Where is it? Where is it? No. It's Where nowhere. Shoot. It's just next already. Oh. 28. Isaac, I got an 18? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty Vegas. sure. I got a 15, I'm pretty sure. Okay, civilian, well, civilian soldiers. Civilian soldiers? Civilian soldiers. They have a... Thirteen. Okay. Okay. Well, that's fine then. They're behind you, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay. Maros, you are up. Okay. Seeing that, being a seasoned soldier and knowing the odds of things, which is unlike somebody else in this group. Right. Yeah. Oh, not, not here. Not this group, but <laughs> a group. Um, it would be I, funny if Maros just came into the group. He was like, "Can you just do me a favor and always tell me the odds? <laughs> like, like the, whenever there are odds, give me them because I need to know." Yeah. <laughs> That's the only way you can make an informed decision. Right, yeah. Well, I was like, <laughs> I don't like this guy. <laughs> Immediately, I want to kill this guy. Actually, if you call yourself a drow, he doesn't like drow very much. He's, it's his, he has a favorite enemy, being a ranger. Dwarves and, and drows are his favorite enemies. Because those are the oh, two he fought during really the war. Really dwarves? Oh, yeah. yeah. Those are the two that he fought during the war. Gotcha. So he, that's just kind of what he knows. Not necessarily he doesn't like them, but he knows how to fight them. Yeah. Um, so, anyway. I immediately uh, see my surroundings and see that... Apparently, he has somehow convinced them that, uh, that he's not lying. So, I feel that our only solution, and hoping that the others will follow my lead, is to expose the gold. Um, so, I am going to once again go and try to rip the gold from his waist and, and pour onto the ground. Okay. So, I step up, and I try to, like, dive and flip the gold over, and you know what I mean. Yeah. What do I? What kind of thing am I doing? Um, <laughs> it would be a, It would still be. Um, uh, you want to rip it off and like throw it? Well, I want to like. Well, I don't think I'd have to rip it off. I think. It, I. I don't think uh, he would. It's like tied to his waist. Like. Okay. Well, then I'll use a dagger to cut it. I mean, like okay. either way, I'm trying um, to try and do it. It would like, still be an attack roll. Okay. I'm gonna have. To, uh, let's go attack roll disadvantage because you're aiming for a specific spot. Um. Okay. Good. Ooh, of course, the Either disadvantage is, is ten. Ten? Yeah. Uh, does not hit. Uh, he he dodges out of the way and he sees what you're up to and he's he's ready to pretty much avoid you at all at all costs. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping somebody else can get it. Oh, enemy is one. Um. Wait, I forgot which one he was. He's the guy with the Viking helmet. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh, well, he is not very happy with you, so he's gonna try. He is yeah. going to. He will try. Uh, <laughs> do a slash and uh, actually, I guess it's yeah, it's a double slash. He's gonna multi attack you. I am going to use <laughs> my protection specialization to give him disadvantage on the attack roll. Both or one? There's two attacks. Yeah. Well, it's a double attack. It's like two attacks. Yeah. Well, I guess it would be his attack for this turn, so that would be his whole turn, right? I, I, I just assume what's, what's the wording on it? It's, it's a, when a creature you can see attacks a target other than you that is within five feet of you, you can use your reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. It would probably only be one of them. Okay. But I'll do it on the first one because it was, it was a damn good roll. It misses. What is it? Uh, it was a... Where is this good bird there? Um, Eleven. Okay, yeah, misses. And the second one is... 12. Miss. Right yeah, here. I got right. you back. So he takes Please. two slashes at you Thank and just you. hits mm -hmm. air. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm... Poof, poof. Your soldier <laughs> skills come in handy. Uh, Darcy goes up. Okay. Putting away shield and metal axe. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I'm going to move into position here. And shove... <laughs> and rape him. And I'm going to try and... 
bear hug him from behind, grabbing, holding his arms. Okay. And, and like, body. Full melt. So that I can just hold him. Mm-hmm. And if I get him, I'm going to yell, Drakus, get the bag. Since he can't guard it, and he's being held still. Oh, Jesus. I would uh, rather you just do, get the bag. Do an athletics check. <laughs> I would have disadvantage. I would miss No, it. but I think he would be paying attention to me, so maybe not. But either way, I guess. Either way, you should. Athletics is good for me. Good athletics okay. is good for me. All right. Crit. Oh! oh give me it. You give me the bird. actually get him in a full Nelson. And nice. he's like, he literally just <laughs> <laughs> shoot the special beam cannon. <laughs> I got uh, it. I think I'm a heavy crossbow. <laughs> I am Raditz. <laughs> Dying ball. How do you shoot right through uh, the So he is would. incapacitated at the moment. All right. You may choose what to do. I am going to get ru- the fucking bag. Because now he have an I, advantage, though. He I, does have an okay. advantage. Okay. I run up to him, and I go to get the bag. Uh, roll a, uh, what's your, do a basic attack roll. Basic attack roll? That's, well, uh, he doesn't have a basic attack. Well, actually, no, he's going to, you're going to grab it, right? Yeah. Uh, it would be a sleight of hand if you're going to grab it. Alright, so that's plus two. two. I didn't have a sleight of hand. Well, you went to slice it. Is he advantage or no? Um, I imagine. I, I'm he, just asking. It doesn't matter to me either way. Um, it would be, yeah, you crit and he's literally, like, stuck. It would be advantage. Come on now. Thir- Thirteen? Thirteen. Um, yeah, since it's sleight of hand, you have to roll to save. To pivot? Like, what to save? <laughs> well, you have him in a, like, uh, a grapple, but he, like, kicks you away. He, like, puts his feet up and, like, pushes you off of him. I'm gonna fucking stab this guy. This guy's like, oh, 16. <laughs> he's very resilient. <laughs> he's rolling, like, ridiculous for these saves. <laughs> this is why he's the leader. Uh, <laughs> this, this is a... I'll take the damage, man. Just get that bag. From 50? Enemies, too. I mean, they can't all reach us this turn. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. No, you're not. Don't worry. If you die before me, then yes, I am going to die. They're going to have to be able to hit me. That's true. I'm hoping they're just, like, as weak as they seem. Probably. They're, they're very feeble. They haven't eaten. It's going to It's gonna <laughs> yeah, be rough, but, but you still, should be okay. so many attacks. I mean, have you ever had corpses thrown at you? Uh, I think there's many thrown <laughs> Oh, you have good HP. You're fine. Stupid whale. Get in the way. Uh-oh. Get out of the whale. You find out that... What's this guy's name? JD the Fifth. Fuck face JD the Fifth has been an aristocrat this whole time. Alright. All right. Get off of me, right now! <laughs> 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 uh, five attacks on uh, Drekus. Yeah. Uh, five attacks on Maros. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Six attacks on Darzigur. Bring it on. It's kind of the best way it could have happened, I guess. All right. <laughs> no, I should have used my shield booster. That's okay. Just then he Do they have an attack bonus or is it just rolls? They have an attack bonus. What are the names, Krakus? Um, Five in a row on 20, 23. <laughs> <laughs> 19. <laughs> I sense death for us. How? I don't know. Dude, <laughs> I don't know. Dude, I don't know. It's 18. <laughs> these are... These, like, I have 18 goddamn armor. Okay, two, all right, two. all right, all right. Uh, After they slug okay, so four to five and one one crit. Um. All right. Thank God I feel some help. Uh. Little did you know these are navy. Seven tools. times <laughs> five, uh, four. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight damage. Oh, holy I shit! Think you're down. He's not down, but is that? Did you do the crit yet? Uh, that was the crit, too. Oh. It was max <clears throat> Oh, okay. So, it's 29. Nine. Guys, I'm right. built. What's good? Oh, my right. God! Right. <laughs> Maros. <laughs> Plate now seems garbage. A 12. <laughs> Miss. <laughs> 12. Miss. Keep rolling that number. Roll, Lower. Rolling 12 Miss. against him. <laughs> uh, 21. Uh, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 8. Okay, one hit. I will accept that. Uh, 6 damage. Okay. Six on me. Yeah. So there's literally like stabs coming from like every direction. Like you're just surrounded by like a mob of people and they're just like ow, ow. They're just, they're just shallow 
And six attacks are coming at Dorazir. <laughs> Those aren't even effective weapons. Um, Fourteen. <laughs> no. Did they just give you razor blades? What is this? Fifteen. No. Eighteen. Yes. Uh, no. No. <laughs> and no. One hit. One hit. Was that one hit? Yeah. Uh, five damage. And it is Moros' turn. Take that. Okay. Get that fucking bag. Well, I have advantage if I try to grab the bag. Uh, he's, he's still, still got he's him, still, so. it's, uh, not his turn yet, so, okay. he's still, just have advantage. Okay. We'll love that. Fucking do it. Sleight of hand, right? Yep. Okay. Well, that's a four. Cause you're going to get a grab. Plus four, so that's a twenty. I'm oh, uh, sorry, nineteen, nineteen. It's gonna be tough for him to beat that, so. Uh, any crits? Nope. He does not get it. Oh, I mean, he does not bad. dodge. I just pour out the bag. Literally, like, so much gold comes out. <laughs> I then stop pouring it and put the bag on my hip. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would do that because no I poured it all out everyone just stops half of them go for the gold now and the other half are like literally trying to tackle you for the bag did they really I mean they want the gold now <laughs> alright I, then I toss the bag into the well they're gonna kill you now. Good, no. it's down there. No, it's just water. There's like six of them just jump straight into the well without any regard for their own human safety. Good. And the rest are just clamoring for the ground. <laughs> and um, hold on. He's gonna make a save to see if he can break out of your <laughs> The best lesson. mission ever. <laughs> uh, actually, how do we do this? Uh, well, it's, usually it's, we do like make a strength versus your strength. Okay, so um, I got a 16 total. I got a nine. Okay, yeah. so he kind of like kicks yeah. you in the dick. Okay. Oh! <laughs> right uh, in the orc dick. Right, right. That part is oh, full yeah. Right in my massive orc dick. Uh, he <laughs> drops to the ground and like tries to crawl out through the crowd. Through the gold? Uh, he tries to swim yeah. through the gold? <laughs> yeah, through the gold and through the mob. Did anything people. else besides gold come out though? Just gold. Mm. <laughs> and now, uh, oh no, Darla Grey does. Okay. The size of a it's up to you egg. what you guys want to do at this point. We m- we're kind of still in combat, but we're not. If you don't choose to be, it's. Up I'm to you not. Guys. I'm not swinging at any villagers. What I'm doing is I am taking my bag off of my off of my uh, hip, mm-hmm. and I'm giving it a big <laughs> scoop through the goal, <laughs> and then I'm throwing it over my shoulder, and I'm looking for the exit. <laughs> uh, the exit is this way. Okay. No one seems to have any care in the world for you guys instantly. Okay. I also, I'm, as I'm, as, after I scoop an inordinate amount of, gar- <laughs> whatever you want to make it, I don't care. Just a Three. scoop full till my gold. bag is full, mm-hmm. sling it over my shoulder, and then I turn around towards the exit and I go, he, the, your leader went that way, you should punish him. And I just start what? booking it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these portions actually go after the leader. These couple, well, when is their turn actually, yeah. And uh, I, can I move past them? Are they uh, trying yeah, to they, stop me? They're not in combat with you anymore. <laughs> the so heavy chinging. I, t- <laughs> I turn around and I go, grab your share and let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I think you've grabbed enough for at least me because I don't have anything to grab with All besides right. my drink. Do you don't have a gold bag? Mm, I mean, <laughs> not much. I have a... The princess uh, extort the king. I, 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 I have a, uh, a nice bag of gold that I see... Darziger do the same thing, and while I'm gushing blood profusely, <laughs> looking pissed off at everyone. You got a lot of stabs. Yeah. <laughs> you got I take his, I take as much gold as I can, put it on my shoulders, and then take two handfuls and put it in my pocket. So that's how pissed I am. I want to okay. these people. Off. And then I sprint the fuck this way. <laughs> right, my, 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 I'm 35. Slow so. due to heavy gold. Um, well, my speed's 35, so that's six squares, right? So one, mm-hmm. two, three, four. 35 and seven squares. I don't know math. This I just moved you. like a distance. Yeah, yeah. I was like, don't stab me That's anymore. Stab you. <laughs> yeah, so fuck. JD7. Uh, JD7, so, little bastard. So you guys are going to go for the gate? Well, I'm, I'm going to make sure he gets out, but mm-hmm. I'm going to go right. for the gate. Are you going for the gate? Yeah. Once I, I grab a few handfuls, that's all I can really fit in my okay. pockets. I don't have like a... I have my, my bag full of silver. Mm-hmm. Actually, I dumped the bag full of silver <laughs> in, in a separate direction, and I filled that bag with gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. hey, he was gonna give us silver. <laughs> I never said it was gold. And I guys, can't lie. <laughs> you, 
you guys exit the gate of the village. Okay. And upon your exit, you just see fires. <laughs> and you're uh, screaming. And, oh, like, coming from the village. Yeah, coming I from thought the... you meant we walk out to like a wall of fire. No, no, no. And we're just like, oh, 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 this is nice. Did they get past <laughs> gate? Hmm? Did they get past <laughs> gate? Did they got past gate? Yes. Right. Uh, I actually say, hold on. We may be able to get more gold out of this. <laughs> you want to go back in there? No. <laughs> oh. But, oh my god! This is but, worse than the drow! But listen, <laughs> wait, what? What'd you say? They said this is worse than the drow. Speaking of the drow, <laughs> right, we can go over there and tell them what we did. And maybe they will reward us. Or kill us and take our gold. We won't bring the gold. <laughs> Where are we going to put the gold? There's so much fire! Yeah, there's a lot of fire. Um, oh, I'm not leaving here. There's a little kid in there. <laughs> okay. That kid sucked. All right, well. He did suck. And, and he but, wasn't beautiful. Hey, at least it wasn't JD6, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> we don't talk. Oh my god, it's so hot. Um, I actually say, watch the gold. You guys can watch the gold. Okay. Um, if I have to give up some gold, I'll give up my bag and we'll split what you guys have. Fair, okay. fair enough. Okay. So I. I so tomorrow's again. We got all this See gold. Uh, no, I keep the I keep my gold. You know, my regular spot on my hip, and I actually go over towards the drow camp. Is it like getting darker ish? Or getting uh, right. No, it was early morning, so it's okay. Okay. Can, can I check to All see right. if the gold is real? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know what. what yeah, what am I, what am I rolling? Just, um, it like would be. Insight? Um, you got two choices. Well, how are you checking it? I'm gonna bite it. Oh, you're gonna bite it? Um, that would be investigation. Oh, shit. Huh. <laughs> well, what, what would insight You're gonna be? bite incorrectly. <laughs> uh, insight's more for people. Yeah. Damn it, because I get plus five to that shit. <laughs> <laughs> alright. Oh, alright, cool. There you go. 19. Uh, you're pretty certain this is real gold. Okay, yeah. good. Because I was going to be I'm very actually going to, while Moros is doing that... And I'm going to freaking heal myself. I guess we're going to, like, go over to, like, an embankment nearby the village while it burns in the distance. And laugh. And just count. I just want to see how much we got away with. Okay. Um, I, we, you don't have to give me a number right now. Uh, you got... We'll do that after. Yeah, okay. uh, These parts. Uh, okay. So you guys like kind of go back. Wait, where do well, you guys go? Not me. I'm, I'm going to the drought. Going to the drought, but uh, you two go back to like. Where? Well, I see where they're going. We meet up. We we have a reconvene. There's like a hill nearby. Okay. Yeah. We're just like sitting on and just uh, like, can, can, watching the city burn in the distance. <laughs> and we're just city okay. is a strong one. I'm gonna camp. pull out a small camp. I'm gonna pull out a small growler of mead because fuck the world. Nice. I have this shit. I'm gonna share some with my boy. Uh, Darsger, as we watch their lives go to hell. I would have almost got stabbed to death. <laughs> I really, I mean, I really, really love the that shit his, out of myself. That he knew we weren't going to do either of the two options. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. I can't wait, well to, I can't wait <laughs> to know what the two options were. Well, we know. It was go and save the princess oh. or kill the leader of the other clan. <laughs> two? Actually, the third, it was really three. It's like, save the princess, kill the leader, or make peace between the two. <laughs> We, took we just did. did. Yeah. <laughs> you never saw it coming. <laughs> they did it. You, you made um, peace between one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I, I do. I go over to the drown camp. Are there guards or anything? Because it's daytime. Um, no uh, I'm using one of my level two spells to heal the shit out of myself. You wouldn't. They don't look like traditional guards with armor. Two They're kind of seven. more. That's what I need right uh, now. I guess for description, Roland looking like very light, like mm-hmm. light armor. Right. Like, right. Definitely Drop. way well fed. <laughs> Like, not, not poor at all. <laughs> right. They look way more 15. skillful than the other people. Mm, clearly. But they're kind of just, like, relaxing. Like, you know, just, like, yeah. putting their blades and stuff. For I, I walk over. I have my weapons on my back. Uh, not, my, not in my hands or anything. And I just I just stroll over. And I'm like, hey, guys. Hello. Good day. Um, do you see that fire over there? Oh, did you take yeah, it Did you guys do that? Yeah. We, well, fine. No, More or less. I, I we didn't just set the, the fires, want, so but we team, caused so. the thing that caused the fires. Awesome. You did way more work than, like, you took care of that problem for us. That's awesome. Yes, we did take care of that problem for you. Yeah. And we would really appreciate some reward. What? No. Maybe if you came beforehand, but you, why would we pay you? You did it already. Well, I just, like, a show of good faith. You know, like, something... Do you want do you this have shit a, to happen to you? Do you have, no, <laughs> you know no, 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 I'm not threatening. He, you know, uh, do a persuasion check. Oh. <laughs> Charisma. That is a six. Yes. <laughs> no more money for uh, you. You know what? Yeah, I got something for you. He, he reaches into a pocket, 
and where is it? Takes out an orb. Okay. He's like this. This is a very powerful magical orb. This is the orb of detect slope. If you put this on any uneven surface, it will tell you what direction the surface uh, surface is. He hands it to you. <laughs> I take it and I go. T- hang on, hang on to that kid. Very rare. <laughs> but. But like stab. <laughs> Please stab. Any spherical thing could do that. <laughs> Good, I didn't That's the joke. <laughs> I would have preferred the dumb people to the condescending ones. <laughs> Look, look, thank look you. I know what you're thinking. No, no, no. I, I, thank you. I appreciate this. Oh. This will go great for my half-orc friend. But, <laughs> but there were three of us, so... Oh, you want... Okay. If, right. if, if possible. Look, look, we're not... I, Don't worry, I have a million of these. He goes do you know... Back. Oh, look, uh, no, 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 no. He hands you a stab. No, no I hold, says, hold on, hold on. Let me just, <laughs> I just want to explain to you before, before any more transactions go down. Mm-hmm. They offered to pay us to come in to try to sneak in here and kill your leader. I'm not well. doing it clearly. Do okay. you see the fires again? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Again, we didn't do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That would. That's what they offered. And I'm. I'm a Lorem soldier. I. I trust me. You can tell. You can trust. I do not lie. They offered to come in here. By the way, did you kidnap their princess? Mm. Did your tribe? You're not the strong one. Whatever. I don't. I honestly don't really care. They're not paying me anymore. So whatever. We just but, like to mess with them, honestly. It's you know what I don't blame you. They're they're real dumb. Yeah, it's they're like they're like ultra dumb. And their leader's such a douche. He's hiding so much gold. Dude, JD six. What about that guy, right? Yeah. Wait, whoa. Uh-huh. Oh, you want to hang out with him? What? Yeah. He came over to our side. I. <laughs> I don't want gold. I just want to know. <laughs> yes, I do want to hang out with him. Are you friends with him? No, but I would love to be. Oh, you want to meet? Him? Yeah, sure. Come on in. <laughs> Can, uh, hold on. Yeah. I just want to check the ground real quick. Yeah. So I put the orb on the ground. It rolls slowly towards the other village where it's burning. I go, ah, you have the high ground. And I pick it back up. I wouldn't have known that without the orb, so thank you <laughs> no so <problem>. much. <laughs> so you don't want the staff. What does it do? It's really powerful. It's the staff of disintegration. It, I can disintegrate things with it? Yeah. I mean, I'm not very magically inclined, but... Yeah, it's amazing. How, do, how does it... Just a uh, point... I'll give it to my wizard friend. Okay. I, I mean, I met a wizard earlier. I'll give it to him. He'll figure out how to use it, I guess. All these things do these things magically. Awesome. It's... Like I the, mean, orb, hey, the orb? If it's anything like the orb, then I know he'll have a great time with it. Give it to your wizard. He'll, he'll tell you. It's magic. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's some sort of magic. But, uh, you want to see uh, JD? JD6? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, come on in. Okay, I, without a second thought, enter the camp because my curiosity is so strong. <laughs> what happened to JD6? Uh, you go in, and uh, they bring you to, like, kind of a fancy-ish chamber. Like, uh, they have houses, by the way. They don't have... I, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not tons with locks on them. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, they bring you to a chamber, and uh, they say, right in there. I knock. Does anyone answer? Uh, yeah. May I enter? Of course. Okay, I open and enter. Hey guys, how's it going? Who are you? Or hey, how's oh, it going? Yeah. Ca- uh, Captain Maros Arroway, at your service. Um, well, at your at your pleasure. Uh, whatever you want to say. Um, I just wanted to first of all. J- JD six. Yeah. J- John. And, uh, oh. John and, uh, the six. Yeah, and this is my sister. Sh- JD the eighth. <laughs> Our father I is just, very insistent on the bold line. I just, I just bow my head and I'm like, "Good day, lady." Um, Your father's dead. <laughs> I don't say that. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, I just, I say, um, "You're on this side now." Uh, yeah. Like fully. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. So, like, for example, if the other village was like burnt down and totally destroyed, you'd be cool with that. I mean, there were some good people there. They There's were not anymore. Like, that's disappointing. I just want to let you know. What happened? You're welcome. Nope. <laughs> um, <laughs> burn your phone. Confused to the ground. I just he offered money. The JD five. Mm-hmm. Uh, your father? Yeah. Grandfather? Uh, right. He's my father. Yes. Okay. Um, he offered money to come in here. And are you the leader of this? 
Oh, no, no. Okay, well... They just accepted me because they thought it'd be hilarious the other clan got angry. It, it is pretty hilarious, to be honest. But they offered money to, for, for us to come in here and kill the leader of this clan, which oh, no. none of us really wanted to do, to be totally Thank honest. Thank God you didn't. I mean... They are way... They could have killed us at any moment. I... Look, I'm glad they didn't, and I'm glad that it kind of worked out the way it did. Now that now that I know the the, the, the stakes, mm -hmm. but we still seem at this problem of we were supposed to get paid for this. Hmm. Do you have any pull with the leader here? I mean, I look, mean, the one of the guards her. gave me this great, great orb. Is that the orb of <laughs> the tenth slope? <laughs> the tenth yes. slope. Yeah. Oh my god! I can't wait to give it to. Oh, and he gave you the staff too, of disintegration. Yeah, I. I don't, but but you see, I can't. I have no use for these things. I'm, I'm sure not an like idiot. Them. So, hmm. but I, <laughs> if you have any pull with the leader here, uh, you can meet her if you'd like. I would absolutely love to. All right. Um. Yeah. Sure. Come with me. Okay. So I. I, I uh. Yeah. Here. He brings you to uh, a very lavish looking house. Um, okay. Not. It's still a village, so it's not too fancy. Right. But, um, before he knocks, I or before he goes near the door, I just go, hold on, hold on. And I put the orb right near the door. It actually doesn't move. And I say, ah, smart, so. building on flat ground. Plateau. And I just roll my eyes. <laughs> I'm going to use this at all times, <laughs> just to let you know this is your fault. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, he just walks right in, like, no big deal. Okay, so I, I, go, in, I go in after him. Uh, you see a drow woman just kind of, like... Sitting, like, kind of, like, laid back on a hammock, like, taking a nap. I, uh, I, I lean my head and I say, my lady. Hmm? I, I say it reluctantly, but I have to address her like uh, that. Uh, who's this? Who have you, uh, brought to, uh, my chambers? I, I'm still dying. I say, Captain yeah. Maros, ROA, at your service. Uh, good day, Captain Maros. Uh, how can I help you? Okay, long story short, the other village, gone. You're welcome. Um, that, so this, this brings me great happiness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have an opportunity to bring me great happiness. Oh, okay. Just any amount of payment for what we've done. I mean, oh, I see you have the spear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> while the spear is great. <laughs> but but look, I do have to. I do have to share with my fellow. Come on, they gave you the staff of disintegration as well. Again, look, I. You know what? I got something for you. <laughs> Here, take these boots. I the boots of blinding speed. Okay. Enjoy those. I take the boots. I <laughs> what? What do they do? Well, what do I find out? <laughs> I look at JD six. It's like I've never seen those before. Don't look at me. Put them on. Oh, okay. Uh, he puts them on. <laughs> He's like, ah! Oh my god! Ah! What's going on? He, what did, what he were you trying to do to he me? He immediately takes them off and throws them. What were you trying to do to me? <laughs> She's just laughing. She's just like rocking back in the hammock. This is fun. This is a good time. Do you have any useful things at all? <laughs> <laughs> I'll troll. What? What, what, what? what do you... The so, boots of making you blind? I don't really hey, want hey, those. Hey, blinding speed. He was slightly faster for the cost of his eyesight. <laughs> so he can run directly off a cliff? Cool. Probably. I mean, yep. sure, but like, again... Okay. Look, look, I feel for you, soldier. You seem like an upstanding gentleman. I try. I unfortunately am not. I'm not in any way honor-bound, unfortunately. I don't mind you visiting, but I have nothing to give you. You've done my job for me. And honestly, even if we came to an agreement beforehand, I probably wouldn't have paid you. Huh. Well, at least you're honest, yeah. more or less. <laughs> We're not stupid, but we are jerks, unlike the other people. You are jerks, I'll give you that. All right, yeah. I mean... Wait a minute. You can't blame me for trying, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll take the boots. I'll see if the one of them wants to run off a cliff, I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh, and uh, are you traveling with that group? What's up? Are you traveling with that group, the Crusaders at first? Oh, yeah, they're calling themselves that, yeah. yeah. Uh, tell Roland to say hello. <laughs> I don't think Ro I don't know a Roland. Mm. Uh, they'll know. Just refer to the other group members in the group. They'll know. He'll, they'll what's, uh, what's the name? So I can oh, Tislana. Chris Lana. A pleasure. Okay. All right. I. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of waves you off. I, I go out and I meet up with them and I go, <laughs> Darziger. Right. They gave us this amazing orb. Oh. Look, look. I have to tell you. Yes. 
<laughs> if you put that on on the ground, mm -hmm. it will tell you if the ground is uneven. This magic is too powerful. For me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's absolutely perfect for you. I put it on the ground. Uh, it rolled toward you. Ah, be careful. The ground slopes this way. <laughs> Ever so slightly. <laughs> I just. It does. Um, so I, I, I'm I'm face palm again, like, I, as always. I hold out the staff. It and is I so say, very shiny. <laughs> I hold out the staff to Dragus, and I say, "They say this is the staff of disintegration." I don't know what it what that means, but if I'm playing by their version of it, I'm assuming it doesn't disintegrate enemies. So I'd be careful with this, but maybe your wizard friend can interpret it. I take it. Look at it. Uh, can I do an arcana check on it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a stick. <laughs> this, this, this is just a stick. You push a button, the stick and disintegrates. I mean, at this point? 16. Uh, there's definitely arcana like magic coming from the stick. Uh, well, there's magic in it. Tim would be the more expert in this, so we'll keep it safe for him. Also, I have these boots, and I take them out of my pack, and I'm like... <laughs> I don't they are magical as well. They are. I don't recommend putting them on. Ah. Because when somebody... JD6 is in there, by the way. <laughs> in the... Yeah. I don't... He's totally... They told me not to talk about it. Is he like the four? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's fine. He just wanted to be a drow, I guess. I don't... He, the, his so sister is there, too. I am so happy that we caused the destruction of those people. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I meant uh, daughter for her. That was... Daughter, story. yeah. His daughter is also there. Uh, they're fine. Okay. There's no... There's nothing going on there. Mm. Um, do you know a Roland? Yes, Roland. The who? Drow. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I forgot. It. <laughs> don't, don't mind him. Yes, he is the Drow who brought the nice. flyers to us earlier. That was good. That was good. <laughs> he Drow. He calls himself. Played drow. your character very well there. He's an okay. Um, I know he is an elf. He calls himself a Drow. We don't bother because well, he's really good with knives okay. and a bow. When you see him again, tell him Trislana says hi. I will not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I, will. I don't care, but... Who is Trislana? She's, she runs this camp, right. Drow or Matriarchal, so she's, I guess, the leader there. Um, Did she give us, besides these, I mean, obviously fantastic magical items, right. <laughs> did she reward you in any other way? Um, by letting me live, apparently. She threatened you? Not in so many words, but it sure felt threatening. <laughs> I will have to tell Roland about this. His friend is being rude to my new friends. Agreed. And I don't have many friends. <laughs> 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 Agreed. the spear. <laughs> but, again, uh, so how much gold did we manage? Um, count it up. When you count it up, actually, uh, each of you roll a d12. That's fitting. That's all man. Oh, man. Eleven. Twelve. 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 Eleven total. Uh, all right. Wait, what? What did you roll? Four. Oh, I thought it was seven. So between all of you, you got about two hundred and twenty gold. That's it. <laughs> I didn't contribute very much. I only had a small, small sack full. Two hundred and twenty. And I rolled a between one. Between the three, of us. <laughs> it wasn't a panic, and there were a lot of civilians going for yeah, it. So I, it was, I hear you. I'm it's sorry. About, it's, it's, it's a nine 70, now. <laughs> it's seventy three gold a piece. Right. Can great. he trade in his inspiration die to roll higher? Um, <laughs> if you want. No, 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 no. He already rolled a six. Yeah. I mean, it is, it's it's average. Uh, and how much time do we have? Thirty-three. Thirty-three. All right, then we'll go back to Relic really quick. All right. Uh, Relic, hey, you are money. still in does the basement with this puffing and puffing gentleman. Now, does he look familiar? He looks almost identical to Ruffington. I've seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> in the many tales of Thor. No. Oh crap! What's the name of those things? Frukel used to tell me about them all the time. Um, the face changer people. Um, Shapeshifters! Oh, uh, no. no that's tell not you. it. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're telling me it? No, that's not it. Um, <laughs> they're pale normally. I have. Well, and then they change their face to, the, to look like people. Over. My family. Yeah. Well, Is that what happened to you? Goes a few times and brings oh. me food home. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> So 
was your twin brother up there. How, how did you get that? <laughs> Come on, he's being very clear. <laughs> Stop jumping to conclusions over there. You can do an inside check if you like. I will. <laughs> 23. Oh. Um, you believe you have a hint in the back of your mind saying that he wants you to bring to bring you to someone who can explain to you what he's saying. Fist, namely. <laughs> his his eyes light up. Now what about this ring? You seem deathly afraid of it. <laughs> you don't have that finger. Petey's motioning to put the ring on his finger. <laughs> okay, I'll just keep that for now. Come with me. Tavers. Yes, sir. Keep watch on this boy. Oh, yes, sir. I mean, man. <laughs> I mean, anyway, guy. You keep a problem. You keep behind him. Follow me. And we go to Fist's <laughs> <it's a> habit. <laughs> we go to Fist's <laughs> office. <laughs> Uh, yes. Did you find anything? Fist? Yes. Tell. Explain yourself. And I bring him in. You told him to watch him down there. What? You, you told them to watch, keep watch of the guy in the Oh, room. no, I wanted them to follow me while they oh, keep an okay. eye on Oh, okay. I thought you meant, like, so watch just him move, and make sure he No, like, move. one stays in front, one stays in back. Like, oh, escorting a prisoner. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, Seth Ruffington? Yeah. I found him in a basement level underneath the house. What? <laughs> Uh, Ruff, this supposed Bruffington goes, and the chief says, you're not Bruffington, but you're, you're his brother? And you, he's been keeping you down there because you're rude. How can you tell? <laughs> he goes. Wait, does he seem frustrated about the things he's saying? Uh, Yes. I'm going to inside check Fist. See, maybe he's in on this. Hey, crit. He's not in on this. He is translating specifically what his brother said. Okay, so the one being kept in the basement is supposedly the rude one? Uh. Well, that's what wait. he said. Yeah. Yeah. So that means the one that's above ground. No, I'm sorry, the one above ground is the rude one. So oh, that's okay. That's why I got confused. Okay. And that now this brother that was kept in the basement, was he the original, like, guy, honcho in charge? Did the brother take over? <laughs> was that a yes? He says, uh, exactly. You are correct, sir. Fist, you understand the situation, don't you? More or less. <laughs> I, I believe... Shades of gray, I mean. I believe we should do a switcheroo on who should be in that basement. I mean, honestly... Bruffington's the one that's paying me, and I know he's... I'm not surprised at this at all, I'm going to be honest. This mm. guy is a 100% jerk. I believe anyone could do better in his place. But I'm retired. He, I mean, it's not really his place. He's just a noble. He just has a lot of money. Mm. Mm. And Oh, are you, are you the cop that's so close to retirement? Damn it, you're a loose cannon relic. <laughs> so, I'm in retirement. This is my retirement. I'm just doing this till I die, so I have something to do. Fist, Fist you can't let something like this go by. It'll haunt you for the rest of your days. You, he, you're really going to hang up the shield with this on your mind? He you're thinks, getting too old for this he shit. Think, he, uh, like a bubble, like a cloud bubble pops up above his head. Yeah. He's thinking about his children in a very comfy bed. Him in a warm, like a, a warm cabin with his wife. Just... Mm in a very luxurious home, and he's like, I'm kind of good with it. But this Bruffington could probably pay you more. Think fancier, better home. <laughs> he thinks three years in the future. And now Bruffington, does he elaborate and go, yes, yes! <laughs> I'm in a grave. What? I'm dead in three years. It doesn't matter. Look, <laughs> to me it doesn't matter. I'm not living long enough to experience these luxuries. I'm, I'm happy with the way I am now. If you want to Confront Bruffington about it. Mm. Go for it. Well, um, <laughs> if I go into a room with these two, <laughs> I'm not sure what's going to be established uh, here. Bruffing, uh, Bruffington 2, and mm. I'll refer to him, yeah. <laughs> looks at you and goes, <laughs> Brother Ruff. Yes. <laughs> I wonder how Yara in the phones. I never, Fist, I never even see it. Uh, Fist says, look, I did the explosion. I just wanted to escape. That ring? Mm. It's the ring of confusion. You just put it on and everything becomes blurry. And he kept me down there confused for the longest time. I don't know how the ring got knocked off. I probably stumbled or something. 
But I finally got free. I found whatever it's like. There was gunpowder in the barrels, and this is a long. Oh. This is a long. <laughs> 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 and he caused the explosion. Yes. Interesting. And he was trying to escape, but then ravenous villagers came through the hole, <laughs> so we ran back down. Yes, you see, your brother has been up to some nefarious business, stealing pensions. That's worse than murder. <laughs> yes. Go shake your hand. <laughs> Tell you what. Tell you what. I'm gonna put you back in power. Because yeah. I have the authority. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he says he's cool if he just wants to leave. He just wants to be free. I mean, technically speaking, the current Ruffington is really fucking over the people. Sure. Wouldn't you rather be in his place, live in this nice place, and actually help the people? <laughs> <laughs> he says that. Uh, he uh, Do a persuasion check. Plus five. Uh, Fourteen. Um, he he's gonna go with you. He's gonna go see. What, he's gonna see what your plan is. Yes, that's fine. All right, Fist. I know you want to conceal your identity, mm-hmm. but I need you to translate here. Fine, I'll do what I must. You could wear a helmet if you want to I'll conceal your. Do identity. whatever the damn well I want. All right, Fist is along too. <laughs> Fist is on board. <laughs> Relic, the aristocrat, and the grumpy orc. <laughs> we we go and we go to the office. <laughs> Bruffington points at the other Bruffington. You know exactly what this is about. <laughs> and I show him the ring. <laughs> and I grab him by the gruff by the gruff of his collar. By, by the Bruffington. <laughs> Grubbington, you've gone too far! <laughs> Just desserts. Uh, he puts up his hands like, don't hurt me. Uh, do a perception check. His hands are actually swords! <laughs> Guns for <laughs> Uh, I think I did ten. Um, you notice there's a ring on his hand that looks exactly like the one that's on your hand. I don't have it on, but I just... I mean, uh, in your hand. Or in that, uh, that you saw, that you saw. Whatever. I grab his hand. You know, you've seen the ring before. I grab his hand, <laughs> and I look at his eyes. And he looks at the, the ring, and I pull it off his hand. <laughs> the dude just collapses. He hits the ground. He I, just seems unconscious. Ah, oh, the ring of life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I give him a kick. <laughs> <laughs> he shakes his head. He's kind of looking around. I show him both rings. <laughs> he goes to hug you. No. <laughs> Did you shove him off? <laughs> I go, no, this is a very confusing situation. Explain yourself. This I really wish everybody could see this. <laughs> the animated. Long, long st- uh, uh, Fist goes to explain. Okay, I'm going to put this in simple terms here. This is pretty ridiculous. Mm. This is an orb of detect slope. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Uh, apparently... Some drow woman thought it would be mm-hmm. funny to waltz into Bruffington's estate with mm-hmm. his brother Bruffington. Mm. They're both named Bruffington. Uh-huh. <laughs> that explains a lot about this family. And put these rings of confusion on them because she would... She it would it be funny, hilarious. Yeah, it would be a fun social experiment. I see. Causing dismay in the civilians. Yeah, so apparently it led him to do all these crazy rude things, and it just seems like a dream to him. Bruffington, brother Bruffington, brother that's been kept in the basement, Bruffington, is your brother a good enough fellow, and he seems to have changed for a strange, sudden reason? Ah, I see he's on point here. (laughs) <laughs> Except now that you mentioned it. <laughs> it's annoying that I'm starting to understand him. I, I'm, start, I'm actually starting to speak. <laughs> Ruffington? Ruffington. Ruffington, I believe you two are finally free of this curse. They look at each other. And they embrace and they each, hug other. each other. Ah, I'm glad. <laughs> and then you hear the back. <laughs> You're both brothers! <laughs> and I separate from you. Now... I've also defended your estate and brought right to your family. He he points out like one second. He holds up his hand. He hobbles over. This is an orb of detection. I roll up my sleeve. Out of there. Um, he he pu- he pushes over the classic portrait where there's a safe behind it. Uh, all right. He twists and turns the safe crank until it opens. 
one more, mm. one second. So he goes in to drink of water. He goes, literally <laughs> walks into the safe. Okay. And comes out with a a, a basket, basket of a bunch of silver, some jewels, and like gold. And he hands it to his brother roughing him. One second, he wants to you. He walks over. <laughs> do do you need a hand? <laughs> I think he said yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he picks up, uh, he get a nice size sack of what you assume gold. It's ringing and stuff. Mm. He gives it to you. He's like, hur, 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 hur. I look into it. Uh, there is a nice amount of gold in there. Mm. And the gift basket is a bonus? <laughs> Uh, that is for my brother, for the apology, for the insanity that has ensued. Ah, uh, what do you two? Uh, what do you two <laughs> plan on doing about that uh, drow woman? <laughs> and Fist is actually like terrified. <laughs> Fist, I believe they're going to be taking you out of retirement. He just nods. <laughs> <laughs> He's just scared. He's like, I, I, I want, I want a moment here. I, I open the door and I say, T team, get over here. And I just talk to him at the door and I go, boys, do you want to continue fighting or do you want to find a different job? Tavers, I ask you a question. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. It's just, it's a, it's a tough decision. If you continue fighting, you could get paid lucratively. We'd love to work for you. Lucrate, Lucrate? Oh, I can't say. Yeah. I can't say you'd be working under. Pay you and Lucrate. I mean, maybe you could travel with my group and work with the guild. Work for the Crusaders? You could. We'd be honored. If you'd have us. There's already one tavern in the future. <laughs> <laughs> These aren't taverns. That's that's. They have different names. Ta- that's they are tavern. <laughs> All right, boys. I'm, I'm glad with your response. Wait for me out here, and I go back to the Bruffingtons. So, it's war then, with the drow. <laughs> but we're good here. Alright, <laughs> 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 alright. All right. I, shake, I shake both their hands. And I go, oh my god, that was stressful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, it's up to you what you want to do from here on out. Yeah, I, I go up to Fist and I go, well, it was, uh, it was an honor fighting with you boys. As, as it was with you, uh, it seems I have a long, a long journey ahead of me now. All right. And we'll find out the wrap-up next time on the... You all right?